How have you been dealing since you stopped taking your medication? Not too bad, Grant. In fact, I really think I'm doing better. I'm not tired anymore and I've been getting a lot more done. Have you had any more visions or delusions? Oh no, they stopped a while ago. Any voices in your head? Just my own. It gets loud sometimes. In these cases, Matthew, the symptoms usually go away with medication. Uh, the problem is the patient stops their course thinking they're fully recovered. It is more than likely that your symptoms will come back with greater intensity. Yes, but I really do think they're gone for good now. I stopped taking them a month ago and I haven't had visions of mum and dad since. Have you settled into life without them? I think. I miss them. Well, it would be abnormal not to. This has been keeping me company. It's not the same, but she tries her best. You're very lucky to have her, Matthew. I know. She tells me you've been getting back in touch with your parents' friends. Yeah. Charlie called last week. We talked a lot. What did you talk about? About how I'm doing and if I need any help to call him. Okay. But I think I said this to you last time too, Matthew. If you need help, you go first to your Aunt Alyssa and then to me. Yeah, it's, it's just I do miss Charlie and everyone. They were nice to be around. Yeah, I know, but a lot of the time in cases like yours, people may try to take advantage. What do you mean? Well, your parents left you a lot of money, Matthew. People may use you to get to that money. But Charlie and everyone have a lot of money already. Nobody ever has enough. How's school? Alyssa said it's better if I stay at home the next couple of months. So you're being homeschooled? Yeah. Good. That was good of her. I don't get to see my friends too much. Well, I was under the impression you didn't have too many friends, Matthew. I have a few. I used to hang out with them at recess and lunch. Mum, Dad liked them. They used to come around. Come in. Sorry to interrupt, Grant. Matthew needs to get home. No problems. Well, that's it for us today, buddy. Remember, if anything out of the ordinary happens, Go first, your aunt. You go on ahead, darling. I'll be right out. Charlie called? Really? What did he say? What did I tell you about calling him? Don't do it. Yes. Matthew, I know you think he's a nice person, but he has ulterior motives. He doesn't. He wants your money. Am I doing a bad job? What do you mean? Am I doing a bad job? Am I not trying my best for you? No, you are. You really are. I won't call him again. Thank you. Is, is that Charlie? Get in the house. What? When we get out of the car, I want you to go straight into the house. Don't make any eye contact with him. But he's... Look, just get in the house, okay? Don't talk to him. Okay. Matthew. Matthew. He's tired. I think you should go. If it's okay, I'd like to talk to Matthew. No, I don't think that's a good idea. You can't keep him from me, damn it! Good morning, darling. Good morning, Alyssa. How'd you sleep? Fine, you? Very, very well, thank you. I was thinking about Christmas last night. I think we should celebrate it like the old days, you know, throw a party and all. Yeah? 
Who are we going to invite? All the mum and dad's friends. I haven't seen them since the funeral. Huh, well, maybe there's a reason for that. What reason? Well, after your mum and dad died, they had no reason to come and see you. No. No, I don't think that's it. Well, I do. So we're not inviting them. Charlie said on the phone that he wanted to see me. Why? I don't know. He said it'd be nice to discuss my future. Are we celebrating Christmas this year? I had another dream about mum and dad last night. It was one of those dreams that you think that it's like... That reminds me. Dr. Grant says you need to go back onto your meds. Why? I don't need them anymore. I haven't had visions of mum and dad in months and I've been getting a lot more done. I don't know, Matthew. He's worried you might relapse. I won't. I know it. Dr. Grant is a professional. He knows a lot more about this than you do. Can't we just give it another week or two? <sighs> no. I, I was reading about a new method of dealing with these episodes. Basically what they do Look, you're is... going back on the pills, Matthew, and that's final. He doesn't know that those pills make me feel like shit. Oh, Matthew, watch your language. I'm sorry, but I'm not taking those pills again. Look, you're going to take these pills one way or another. No. Take the fucking pill, Matthew. No. Don't make me say it again, you entitled fuck. No. <laughs> you little asshole. No. No. Now, you will take these pills every damn day. And if I find out that you haven't been taking them or you've been throwing them away, you regret it. Matthew, a little attention, please. Sorry, Miss Mackenzie. What's wrong? Nothing. It's not nothing, so spill. Seriously, Miss Mackenzie, I'm fine. I'm just tired, that's all. I'm just tired. Matthew, we can't continue if you're distracted. Now, if there's something playing on your mind, I'd like to help. It's just Aunt Alyssa. She was a little mean, but it's fine. A little mean? Yeah. I didn't take a pill that she wanted me to take. So she got a bit mad, but it's my fault. I should have kicked up a fuss. What did she do when you didn't take the pill? Nothing really. She just made me take it. By what? Forcing it down your throat? Basically. What was the pill for, Matthew? It's for my schizophrenia. <laughs> what? I started seeing visions of mum and dad when they passed. Schizophrenia doesn't just go away, Matthew. Are you sure that's what the pills were for? That's what they said. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's not fine. She shouldn't be making you do anything you don't want to do. Do you want me to talk to her? No. No. It, it's fine. Seriously, Miss Mackenzie. It's, it's fine. Okay. Sorry to interrupt, Rachel, but um, we're going to have to cut the lesson short today. Dr. Grant has something urgent that he needs to discuss with Matthew. Yeah, okay. Same time tomorrow, Matthew? Yes, Miss McKenzie. Morning, Matthew. Hi, Dr. Grant. Dr. Grant is here to discuss your medication with you. Ah, oh, yeah. Guess I've decided to take them again. Uh, yes, I've heard. But I think we should try to change them since I hear you're not coping too well with these ones. Oh, yeah, thanks. I do feel a bit the worse for after taking them. So I've bought some new medication we'd like you to try out for us today. What's it called? The name's not important, Matthew. Okay. Now, here's a medication we'd like you to try out. Alyssa and I will monitor how you react, just as a precaution. Okay, cool. Do you want some water? Nah, it's fine. I'll take it straight. Thanks, Alyssa. You may continue with your study now. And Dr. Grant and I will be in the kitchen, so if you do need us, make sure you let us know, okay?
Okay, so, Dr. Grant, I feel so good. Matthew? Can you hear me? Matthew, did you bring the papers? Okay, we have about three minutes before it knocks him out completely. Okay, okay, listen here. We need you to sign something for us. Can you do that? Yeah? Okay, here. I want you to hold on to this pen. God, fuck, Matthew. Just hold on to this pen and I want you to sign it. Dr. Grant, can you fucking help me here? What was that? I don't know. Just don't worry about it. Get him to fucking sign. Sign, you fucking idiot. That's it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, here. How you feeling, champ? Charlie, what are you doing here? Where am I? You're in hospital. Why? Well, it seems that your Aunt Alyssa was up to no good, mate. She wanted my money. Did they get her? You're safe now. That's all that matters. 